It was February 17th, 1980. I was invited to a church service by a friend and I flippantly said, sure. The pastor was teaching from Revelation, the last book of the Bible, in chapter three about Christians' names in the book of life. This book guaranteed heavenly citizenship. At the end of the church service, as the pastor was praying, he asked if anyone in the congregation would like to assure their name in the book of life. My heart was beating out of my chest as I knew my name wasn't in there. Before leaving that church, I'd asked Jesus into my heart and life, asking him to forgive me of the sins I'd committed and pray to live a life as a believer and follower of Christ. I wish I could say that I no longer sinned, that I followed all the rules, that I didn't say a few curse words or just wasn't nice because I wasn't. Actually, I did some things that I am very ashamed of, even after becoming a Christian. But I also know that when I confess the ugliness of my heart and actions, Christ forgives me and loves me despite my own disappointments. That's why Easter changes everything for me. He came to earth as a baby and died for all the sins of the world, past, present, and future, his death was horrific and agonizing, and he did it for me and for you. That's how much he loves us. But he didn't stay in the grave. He came out of it, and he resides in heaven, waiting to take those who call him Lord home. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. My hope for you this Easter is that you allow yourself to become new and forgiven and loved by your creator. He longs to have a relationship with you. God bless you.